If you guys are regular viewers of this YouTube channel, you know I'm pretty lazy when it comes to retouching photos and my portraits. I don't like using Photoshop as it's just way too overcomplicated. And if I need professional retouching for my work, I just hire somebody else. And this Avoto software is actually really good. I don't think I need to hire a professional anymore because I can just use Avoto. And the most important part is this software is really easy to use. Now, quick disclaimer, Avoto have sponsored this video. But I told them, if I don't like the software, I'm not going to make the video. And one of the best things that I found with Avoto is that you actually pay per export with something called credits. I find that's a very fair system as it's better than paying a monthly subscription because sometimes I don't even use Photoshop in that month and I still have to pay for it. Another benefit to using credits for exports is that when you export the same photo twice, that only counts as one credit. So an example of this, say a client doesn't like your retouching as they want more or less, you can go and fix that and then export it again and you still only get charged the one credit. And in the description down below, there is a link that you guys can get 30 credits for free, aka 30 exports. I'll also leave all the raw files that we will be using today for you guys to have a go for yourself. So let's jump on the computer to show you guys how I can professionally retouch my portraits easily using Avoto. So let's jump right into it. I just made myself a quick little coffee. Look at that. Uh, macadamia latte. Let's go. So now we're going to jump into the computer and this is basically what you will see. Photos we're going to be working on today is a photo that's a DNG from the Sony a6700. We've got a photo from the XE4. Fujifilm, and then a photo from my a7 IV. These are my main photography cameras. I own four of these, believe it or not. And this was for a wedding. Bit of a variety of cameras, lighting conditions, and photos. So to drag these in, you just open a new project. So this is the photo that we're gonna start out with today. This is a photo of my friend Amine in my recent video on the Sony a6700. First thing we're gonna do to this photo is we're just gonna crop it to a two by three. Uh, and just crop out those black bars. And I like to keep my subjects pretty centered with a little bit of headroom. Uh, that gives like a sense of environment, especially this is shot on a 85 millimeter full frame equivalent. And with my rule of thirds, I like to keep the eye line in either the top or sometimes I'll bring it to one of these points. To exit out of crop mode, you just go up here. And since this is a raw photo, I haven't actually edited this photo. Um, so with a photo, it's pretty similar to Lightroom. You got your white balance adjustment here and you got your tint, you've got your exposure, your highlights, everything. Down here, you've got all your curves. You've even got lens corrections. For a portrait like this, I'm basically just gonna do some basic corrections. So I think I underexposed a little bit. You can see on the histogram, we're just gonna pull this up to the right a little bit. I'm gonna pull the high highlights down a little bit bring the shadows up a tiny little bit. I like to bring the whites out of my photos and then drop the blacks a little bit to get that contrast. And then with the curves, I like to go just into the curve point, bring the blacks up, drop the whites, and then correct with the shadows, and then back with the highlights. And then lastly, I'm just gonna correct the white balance. This is really where the skin lies. I'm just gonna dial this into uh, 6500. So when I'm doing portrait photography or fashion photography, I don't really edit my photos that much. It's really just some basic corrections because you don't really wanna change the color of the outfit or the skin too much. Some clients do want those really creative edits and that's where I will use my presets. And I'll also shoot on film. For these examples, these are more professional high-end retouching and portraiture so I just do basic adjustments with the white balance exposure the highlight shadows and a little bit in the curves and that's pretty much it now we've done our basic corrections we're gonna move on to the skin retouching which is up here on the top right and this is just basically sliders and you can go too far on this but I'll show you guys how to get that nice subtle look we're just gonna pull up this freckle and acne slider now this just gives us an overall smoothness to the image Amine also has a few very common just freckles on her back I've my back's covered in them um, nothing wrong with that but with this body blemish you can pretty much just remove all of them pretty amazing um, we're just gonna leave them there for now because I might bring them I might just fade them out a little bit she's got pretty perfect skin she doesn't have any uh, oily face or any of this face forehead wrinkles 
I mean on older people or uh, more matured models you would use the same with the eye wrinkle and then we're going to move right out down to the, the dark circle because naturally everyone does have quite a dark under eye so we're just gonna we're just gonna lighten up the last little parts of these eyes down here and then this one's a really cr crazy one so like when someone turns their head naturally you're gonna get a neck wrinkle here but if you go like right up it just deletes it <laughs> like that is insane like all right moving into the actual skin retouching and this is where i think avodo really shines so this is dodge and burn and basically what dodge and burn does it shapes the face similar to what a makeup artist will do dodging burning for photoshop is actually super complicated and it's an art but now that has been deleted with ai and we have sliders and then you got face skin smoothing so if you go that right to the brinks it's a bit much like that is looking pretty fake some clients want that but i think personally i need a little bit of texture in the face otherwise the photo is looking too fake and too retouched uh then you also have the body skin smoothing so if you go right to the end once it loads you'll see that that is also looking pretty fake so we're just going to bring that right down and then coming down into skin color this is one of my favorite features with avoto you can literally just fix skin and you can literally just you know if you want to widen the skin if you want to make it a little bit more pinkish you know you can really just change it and like i know this looks a bit much like that looks like completely fake um, but you do have an amount slider. I found this one to be the best and I'll just I'm just gonna dial this down to about five So that's just gonna even out her skin tone and just remove any of that redness So that's before and that's after before after. another one is teeth whitening Let's just make her teeth like a little bit wider by dialing it into about 20 brightening up the eyes This really does make a portrait the eyes are the most important part of a portrait And this is where your focal point is as well So we're just gonna brighten these eyes up a little bit and make them stand out a bit more I'm just gonna adjust the lip color just to make it a little bit more red and a little bit more saturated So we're pretty much finished with this portrait so here's the before and here's the after i think this is a very subtle but very professional way to retouch photos moving on to our second portrait here of my good friend amanda this was on a very hot brisbane day i shot this on the fujifilm xe4 in very harsh and contrasty light and the first thing i noticed about fujifilm cameras is that their auto white balance suck we're just gonna cool the image right down i might add a slight bit of magenta into the white balance so there's a before it's obviously very yellow and orange and then we fix the white balance and now we've got more gentle and even skin tones so we're going to move into our skin retouching again and like i said before it was a very hot day and amanda was actually sweating because it was like 40 degrees so we're going to clean up all of this like oily and shiny face so the first thing we're going to do is just bump up the freckle with acne that's just going to give us any blemishes are just going to go body blemishes we're not going to worry about that and now let's try out fix this oily face and see how well this works wow look at that that just got rid of that like that all right i'm going to bump this up pretty high i mean that that's pretty good like this is the before and that's the after you know we've just got rid of all of that shine all right we don't need to worry about any of these eye wrinkles we are going to light up the eyes a little bit because it has that shadow there smile line neck wrinkle uh double chin we don't need to worry about any of that so now we're going to dodge and burn this before and after how much nicer this portrait is looking and then we're going to do the face smoothing i'm not going to go too much because amanda has beautiful skin and then for the skin tone i'm like really happy with just adjusting the white balance and how the skin tone looks now you can see the before and the after it's subtle we've fixed the skin tones we've adjusted the white balance and we've just smoothed out the skin and this is looking great all right lastly we're going to move on to a more complicated edit now this is a wedding you can see that i have underexposed this photo on purpose to save the detail here in the sky we're going to bring all of this detail out because we shoot on sony now you can do this on any camera but you can see like how much shadow detail we can get and that's looking a lot better so far yeah we're getting all of that detail back we haven't lost the detail back in the sky tone curve um we're just gonna put a point on the shadows and then really just give this a nice high key and you can see the before and the after you know you can bring all of that detail back out of sony files that's why i shoot on sony cameras i'm going to change the greens a little bit so yeah on evoto you do get all of the hsl colors so you get hue saturation and luminance i make this green look like it's a more natural 
kind of lush green very subtly i'm going to reduce the saturation a little bit just so it's not too much and then really to make those greens like not looking blown out and gross i just bring down the luminance so i'll bring the yellow down as well that's before that's after um that looks great i'm just noticing right in jesse here that we are getting a little bit of blue in the shadows so i'm just going to zoom right in there and then just keep going until i think that's gone pretty white now uh yeah and you can see before and after with that white balance adjustment now we're getting a full white obviously it's on golden now so we're still getting that nice yellow golden tinge in the highlights the shadows have been white balanced so that looks great so then i just brought down the luminance of the blues brought the saturation up a little bit i haven't touched the hue at all and that for me has been color corrected and now we are on to retouching so i'm just gonna see how well this works so this one has just targeted katie because we are in the female tab if we go to the male we can now just target jesse so you know this is great you can get rid of uh one person and then get rid of the other person so if you don't want to retouch the male you don't have to this just works like that so i think that looks great we'll just focus on katie here um, we're just going to dial these up a little bit we're just going to just do a quick dodge and burn smooth this face do a little bit of body uh skin smoothing just a little bit i'm just dialing these up a little bit i'm not going to change the skin or anything like that that's all good so let's move on to jesse and we've done a little bit of the uh his acne and that i find that guys you shouldn't really retouch their face too much i think like uh, some blemishes and guys actually give them a bit of muscularity so we're gonna just smooth his face a little bit dodge and burn them and that's pretty much it finish off this photo this crop isn't really so we're gonna go into three by two i am cropping this image i'm keeping jesse in this entire third and then i'm putting katie in the next third and then another point of interest of this portrait is katie's veil that she's playing with and everyone is looking so your eye generally goes to jesse and then we go to katie and then our eyes are continuously following down to the veil composition wise i think i nailed this i didn't do the best job exposing it but we fixed that on post and here is a final before and after finally the great thing about Evoto, you guys can actually just save these presets so if you're going to edit a bunch of these you just click save preset select a group create a wedding code that i just made and save that and now we have a preset i'll save all of these presets and i will leave them down below so you guys don't have to go in and manually adjust all this you can just download these presets and download a photo get those 30 free credits and start retouching your photo so that's it for today's video i will save all of these presets and leave them in the link down below you guys can also download all of these raw files and have a go for yourself make sure you click the link for Evoto. You get 30 credits for free. Please leave a like. Otherwise, we will see you next week.